next guest is based in Canada. I don't know if he's joining us from Canada, but his name is E. Lloyd Kelly, and he is an author and a poet. And um, I'm going to find out if he's joining us from Canada or not. I think Quebec was where he's based. So um, I hear I hear a voice. I hear a sound. That might just be me talking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard audio, but he doesn't have the little audio mic on there. But it's oh, now he's connected. Now he just needs to turn on his video. Okay, yeah. There we Here go. he is. Yay! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. right. Well, Lloyd, yes. welcome to Black Office Matter TV. Thank you. And Thank you for being here. Repeat that, please. I said, thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. So you you have a Jamaican background, Jamaican born and bred, as you say. Yes. And so is your writing, do you write about Jamaica or? Not every book or everything that I write is about Jamaica, but I try to input, introduce something, whether in the language, are in, in some sayings <laughs> that is distinctly Jamaican. Well, this book is a um, part of a series. It's called Real Inky Trail. Yes. Okay, can you tell us about the series? The series is a, a fictional story set in a place called, called uh, King's Land of the Cadies. It has some resemblance to a place that we know what is it called again i think it's called earth or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so the, there are some resemblance to where we live but these stories they are all standalone stories okay so you have this, any of your books with you that you can show the yes cover? actually okay here, this is book one it's a okay. story called New hiking trail cast shadow and the tattooed. So okay. That's that's book one. Okay. And this is book two. Twisted Tales from the Big Fail. Okay. okay. Yes. And uh, in three days' time, we will have book number three which we are going to talk about today, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that's the one, the sword, the word, and the writing. Yes. Okay, so you don't have the book in hand yet? You're no, I don't. I harder artist's copy, but it hasn't arrived. As okay. okay, well, you can tell us what it's about, though. Yeah. Yeah, so it is, again, as I said, it's set in, in Kingsland, after Cadiz, and uh, I, I want to tell tell you a secret right off the cuff that I haven't told anybody yet, anybody else yet. Okay. This book was actually the first in the series. It was actually book one, but I started out trying to give it like in episodes on one of these sites. Uh, and uh, actually it's, it's an, um, Royal Road. And Royal Road, I tried to put it there when I started out uh, in episodes. And um, I thought at the time that this book has potential to be more than it was at the time. So I pulled it back. By that time, I almost finished book number two. So I put out this as book number one. And this is book number two now. This, uh, this is book number three now. So it's a, it's a story about some people looking a lot like me <laughs> and some other people from another part of the Kingsland world who happens to come in contact with each other and the happenings, the events that took place thereafter. Okay, so you indicated in some of your work that you, you're a poet. 
Um, so yes, are, I'm a poet. Any of these books, poetry books, or are they all actually story, not stories <laughs> or short stories or a long story? Yeah. Here is the poetry book. This is this one is on the publishing Amazon. Okay. And, yes, and um, this is a collection of poems and short stories. Oh, and okay. Poetic justice. Yes. Okay. And um, it's called uh, Poetic Justice. Cold. I was about to say, I, I see the way you wrote justice. Oh, and Just, you have cold up there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, very cold. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Now, so, what 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 uh, prompted you to move to Canada from Jamaica? Uh, polar I opposite think, climate, and I, that's I, a, a I pun is it, intended. Um, well, two words: economic reasons. <laughs> I've mm -hmm. been asked that question so many times. Why did you leave a place like that to live in a place like this? <laughs> <laughs> Economic reasons. I'd, I'd much rather to be in the sun than in the cold, but in the sun sometimes can get a bit hard <laughs> and the pocket. Okay. At, well, at so least, for economic reasons. At least in that part of the sun. Yeah, it is the, the sun is bright in Jamaica. I've been there a number of times. Yes, it's, it's, I've never been to Jamaica, believe it or not. Yeah, I've been somewhere you haven't been, Rhonda. I'm Girl, yes. And you know, I, I tell people nobody believes me that I dated a Jamaican for three years and I still have never been to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're home with you, Randa. You need to go. <laughs> no, he's gone. I'm 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 with a good American man now. Okay. But, but I mean you need to go. Yeah, I am actually. I'm I'm supposed to be taking a vacation with um a couple of my sorority sisters um in October. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. Trust me, you are you are in for a Fabulous time. <laughs> I went to, um, despite Palmer, of what last time I went, I was in Palmer. Yeah, despite what you might hear in the news some of the times, it's not always what it seemed. Mm. <laughs> well, I found the people to be extremely friendly. Um, yep. I went to Ocho Rios in the, in the Jamaica. Yep, that's yes, in Jamaica. Yes, I'm trying yes, to remember. Yes. I, I've been to three places: Palmer, Montego Bay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been those. And, and uh, but only on cruises. So, okay. you know, you get off the ship and you stay there. Yeah. For See, that's yeah. how I went to the Bahamas on a cruise. Yes. Yeah. That's a good that's a good mode of transportation to get you there. And, yeah, <laughs> but, but I want to go and experience and stay and there. That's for what a while. I was about to say. Yeah. The only problem with the cruise is that you don't get an authentic view of the place. Yeah. Well, you, we did. You're really in the tourist area most of the time. Yes. yes. Yeah, but we always hire a local to give us a tour. And that does two things. One, they get more money, you know, yes. because the, the cruise ship, they don't have locals doing no um, doing uh, tourist no. stuff, doing, doing the uh, guided tours. They hire, you know, a larger company. It's not black either. So if you want the money to get to a native person, you have to go away from the, the ship, from the yes. port, just a little bit further, and there'll be people who are offering tours. And I, what I tell people, go in a group. Yes. So yes. for safety purposes. And we had a very, very nice guy both times. And they took us around and they, they took us to where the native people lived and we met native people. We went to the where the people actually catch fish for a living. That's yes. nice. Uh, fish. Did, so, you, did you sample the steam fish? No, did... they they gave us some other things. Uh, oh. I can't remember what it was now. Not not fish. It was some of the greenery, some of the uh, fruit, some of the vegetables. Yeah, it was more. It was, it was sweet. I can't remember. It was like a coconut, but not a coconut. But although we did get coconut water from a coconut, they, yes. they did that. Yeah, but that's um, a must. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we, it's very, but it was, it was. You can tell the sun is different. I live in Houston. Houston, this week we've been having hundred degree weather. 
Yeah. It's, it's been, it's been, and it's supposed to be that for next week too, with yes. no rain. It's, it's, um, but Jamaica, the sun, you can tell you're close, closer to the equator. Yes, yes. Jamaica, because the sun is intense. Well, and, in, in those sun, kind of temperature you are quoting, they cover up, be sure to cover up. <laughs> oh, well, you know, in Houston, we stay in perpetual AC. Yes. <laughs> it's hot in Houston. <laughs> <laughs> we go out like really like out like it'll be like seven seven in the evening when it's not quite you know when the sun has gone down. Yes, but yes. you know you could seriously get sunstroke if you yes. spend too much time up there. It's really hot. So, um, how long have you been in Canada? Um, thirty thirty one years. Wow. So Canada is right basically now. home now. It's home now. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I'm here with my wife and son. <laughs> okay, so you did you meet your wife in Canada or did you all go? Okay. We met in Jamaica. Oh, okay. Shortly after I came here. Okay. Well, she was here before me and then I came and joined her. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are a lot of Black Canadian, um, a lot of people from the Caribbean that are Black that are in Canada. I, I've met some of them on cruises where they'll, you know, their family, their roots are in the Caribbean. But yes, they yes. It's a, lot, it's a fairly yeah. large Caribbean community and growing. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So when you, when you write your poetry, what, what do you use for your subject? Do you have a certain style? You know, there is a story in one of, in, in this book that okay. I, Somebody asks once, how did you come to start writing? And I wrote that piece about it. I'm not going to read it for you now, but <laughs> basically. Well, you can if you want. If it's not too long. Uh, I would oh, rather, read, you have, I would you rather have... read another piece than okay, that. Okay. This, one I can, this one I can just tell you. Okay. Um, I right. told the person that. It seems as if there was a soul who had died long ago with unfinished business, and that soul woke up and uh, found a an host in me and lodged there and says, Come, you go and do what I should have done, and didn't and it did not get done. So I started writing. Uh, because I suppose you were going to ask this too, but I'll tell you up front. For a guy like me who would hardly finish high school, <laughs> could hardly put six words together <laughs> to order my lunch. <laughs> and then I started writing after that, that ghost indwells me and I can't stop writing. So I've been writing ever since. And most of my writings, even the names of, of these books, I don't pre think them up or anything. It, it just jumps at me from the writing. You, so it I just comes idea. to you. Yes. It, it just comes to you. Yes. I get an idea and I start writing and then I can't stop. It just keeps flowing. And when I'm doing the review, sometimes the name pops up at me. For instance, I'm going to interject one more. Okay, no, okay, yeah. This is another book. This is uh, one of the first. Uh, I think this was the second book I wrote. And this name, I was watching a TV show once and the, the question comes up. Like you, you, you must have heard this term, all men are dogs. So yes, it came up in the show. So oh, that's where the name Manly comes from. Yeah, this one, yes. <laughs> so I just started asking, if all men are dogs, who taught these dogs those clever, cunning tricks? And a book was born. <laughs> I started writing, and this is the result. <laughs> this too can only be found on Amazon. By the way, these, the series now is being published by Ingram Spark. So okay, so are you going to do a hard cover? Is that why you picked Ingram Spark? Um, I haven't done any hard cover yet, just ebook and uh, paperback. 
Oh, okay. Because a lot of people pick Ingram Spark yes. to get a hardcover book, especially if it's a children's book. Yeah. Well, you can get hardcover no, on, on Amazon too. But yeah, not but not children's books. Because the, the hardcover on Amazon, unless they've updated their uh, guidelines, it has to be at least 75 pages. Yes. And children's books aren't 75 pages, unless they're right for young adults. Yes. So, yeah, I, I when they first said it, I got it. I got excited because I, I write children's books, among other genres. Yes, yes. And so I had to do my hardcover through Ingram Spark. Yes. yes. As you mentioned that uh, writing children's book, I noticed on the, on the, your placard, your, your, poster, I am said to be a short story writer. Of course, I write short stories, but not only <laughs> short stories. Just want to clarify that. I oh, okay. Full-length books too. Yeah, well, we, we try to create a description based on what you send us, and we're not able to always put yeah, everything it, on there. Yes. We try but to it's, it, it's, it's good enough. That's but why you I do write things. short stories, so it was accurate in that way yeah. it wasn't inaccurate you're saying it's just not all inclusive yes okay it's not just just not just yes short stories so uh do you perform live do you do i've been doing a, a few of that in recent times as a matter of fact um this past um black history month i did a few pieces so I am I'm a, I'm getting out of that shell. I wasn't comfortable to stand up before an audience uh, before, <laughs> but in recent times I'm venturing into that, and okay. the, the feedback is quite encouraging. I must say, yeah. Okay, so do they have Black History Month in Canada? Yes, yes, we do. Is it the same month? Yes, February. Oh, it oh, is. Okay. Yes. Did you know that, Rhonda? I didn't know that Black History Month was in February. I did know they had a Black History Month. Um, okay. But, you know, I think I told you before in London, they celebrated in October. Yeah. Yeah, you did tell me that about yeah. in, in England. They they get a 31-day month. So... <laughs> <laughs> you just had to throw that part in. <laughs> <laughs> So, but you know, yeah. if there is a history, logical reason, it wasn't because it's the shortest month. Um, I, I, if, you know, when Carter G. Wilson, you know, came up with the concept, it was because of I forgot somebody's birthday was in February. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, I believe it was Lincoln's birthday and Washington's it was somebody birthday. Else. Yeah, was it Booker T. Washington's birthday and Lincoln? Sure. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So it wasn't because it was the shortest month, but it just... I have a feeling that I have some, something to do with it. <laughs> one of those is incredible coincidence type. It, it, it's just an incredible coincidence. Uh, yes. <laughs> so um, you had asked if I want to read something. So just this past weekend, I did this piece and I posted it and... TikTok because it's a Father's Day. So uh, this piece is quite current in my mind. So I'll do it. It's a little tad on the long, long side, but not too long. So it's called Grandfather's Hand. So this, this is not just father to the first degree, but father's many degrees. Okay. So it's Grandfather's Hand and hold to my ancestors, your dads too, and moms. I see the years logged in colors, rich calypso paint in dynamic shades, which marks the timeline there and the building blocks of how houses were then made. With the hammer in his right hand, bring out the shovel and bring out the spade. Where grandpa build his own house and the farms the Delta lands out on the glade. He gathered and brought the money home, never gave his to the bank, then go asking for a loan. It was grandfather's hand that had laid the foundation. He even hewed 
the cornerstone. Grandfather was mighty with the hammer, cuts the wood and plowed the ground. A marvel of a man was my grandfather, the greenness of youth yet set in his bones. Grandma made babies then and the family prospered and grew. Year after year, they came along. So grandpa had it yet another row. Rows of blocks, that is. They mount up high, just like steers. He buys them as the money comes available and store them in the backyard out there. He had the rooms as we would have the need for them. A room for Marty, one for Jack, and another for Ben. One more room is added as each child appear. One for each of them, and then for those children of theirs. In the sixth generation, the ceiling was set. Grandpa is still here. He has not moved on yet. Mm -hmm. Fifty years later, and the picket fence is now up. Grandpa downs the morning with a satisfied sup. Satisfied in knowing he has gotten it all wrapped up as he drinks the coffee out of his favorite cup. Screaming whispers are so loud now that one can scarcely even see the way things are turning out from the way how they used to be. Marty's home that he has just bought in town is yet to cover his weary sleep. Makes my grandpa wants to holler. Makes him surely wants to wee. It's hardly any bigger than one of these rooms. Grandpa was to have lament at the little mushroom on which his son had so much good money spent. But Marty's content said small is now the way to go. And since the dinosaurs are already gone, Big is surely not cool anymore. Grandpa laments at this too and shakes his weary head. It's dear world now, he consoles himself. My time is over, I'm almost dead. But what ways are these for a man to live? I'd much rather to up and go than to live and work all my life just to pay back debts I owe. I must go and lie down now. I've got to take my rest. I've had some great living in my time. I've done for them my very best. Mm -hmm. But if I have it all again to do, which of these lives would I even choose? I'd just as gladly build my own house and I'd just as gladly grow my own food. I thank you. All right. Yeah. That was captivating. I like that one. It was Thanks. great. You know, that reminds me of someone that um, I know at church who's, I believe he's from Jamaica. He said that uh, the tradition is to build your own house. That's what I, yes. and you you build it a little bit at a time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's expected to be there for generations. Yes. And, and that's, Sounds like what you were describing. Yeah, exactly. And okay. as the way I started, I see the years logged in colors. This is a vivid picture of some scenes in, in Jamaica of a family building a house. You could count each year since the foundation was set because every year they would put on like one row of black all around. <laughs> And uh, this, the one at the bottom, is there so long that it would take on a darker shade. And the higher the, you go up, it gets clearer. <laughs> so you can you can count how long that house has been building. Yeah, I, I, I always that, thought that was fascinating to me that you know every everybody has a skill. So you'll invite your friend over who knows how to do roofing or, or your yes. friend who knows how to do plumbing yes. and you're all working on that house and it might take 10 or 20 years, but when it's done, yes. the house yes. is finished. Yes. <laughs> and it's, yes. it's a big house. Usually mm. that house that is built like that 
it's built as a generational house. Right. Yes. It's going to be passed down. Well, I think there's some, there needs to be more written about that. I don't know if any, I don't know if there are any books on that, but if there are, there need to be more because I think that is a fascinating tradition yes. that more people need to know about it. So it might be something that you may want to consider. Um, I think it would be an amazing, you, you know, story for people to know about. Yes. Just that whole tradition of building a house for generations in Jamaica. Yes. And not just me, but if I have a dream or, or an objective for doing what, I, what I'm doing now, even if I don't make a penny <laughs> out of doing this, if I mm -hmm. can inspire some of, of my people, especially the younger ones coming up, yeah. to do something like this because i do believe that our people just listen to our music and you know yeah. our people have stories to tell great stories but mm -hmm. i figure that we don't see enough of our people doing this that's why we don't have too many of us doing it so if i do it and they see that i can do it and uh, become a success at it whatever however one might choose to measure success in that then they might do it too and you may, may be amazed at the type of stories that you'll hear coming out of our little Jamaica yes well we're at the end of our time Lloyd so we want to make sure people know how to get your books and um if you're on social media let people know how they can connect with you on yes so the book, as I said, it's it's um, published through Ingram Spark, and um, hence it can it's available anywhere in the world that books are sold. You can get it there, okay. but you it's it's available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Kobo, and if you can't find it in your local store, ask for it. They'll get it, and. Uh, I am not a very savvy guy at the social media thing. But <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. I am I am on most active on TikTok. On TikTok. Uh, at, okay. um, right. at E Lloyd K on TikTok. Okay. I'm on Facebook at e, e Lloyd Kelly, author and poet. Okay. I also have a website, E. Lloyd Kelly, author slash poet. And I'm on YouTube also, E. Lloyd Kelly, author and poet. If you search E. Lloyd Kelly. Yes, yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like. We just need yeah. to search E. Lloyd, e. Lloyd Kelly. Kelly. We're going to find Lloyd you. Kelly, <laughs> K-E-L-L-Y, and you'll be able to find Lloyd yes. there. Well, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Quebec, Canada. Yes. We, we appreciate you sharing with us some of the culture from Jamaica and some of your writings that you're doing. Yes. And continued success with your objectives and goals that you've set for yourself. Thank you, Gwen and Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs>